Oops, yellow screen. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> Hi, Kylie, how are you? It's looking like you're first off the rank. So there we go. I'm having a lovely wine tonight. Not a jam tea. A beautiful, let me show you the bottle. It is a young one, a Pinot Gris, grounded crew, whatever that is. Um, it is South Australian. I take part in the Naked Wines, collecting some beautiful different collections sometimes and occasionally drinking them. <laughs> so I decided to have one tonight. And it is actually very delicious, even though it's um, just, well, you know, it's this year's vintage from the look of that, 2021. Quite nice. Doesn't matter if it's young. Good evening, Mum. Hi, Mum. <laughs> G'day, Margaret. Lovely to see you here. Since I did catch up with you today, didn't I? Just for a quick time. I just hate wearing those masks, though. So hi, Dee, and for everyone. Yep, exciting news. Seven days till you see your grandkids. Yeah, isn't it beautiful? It's wonderful stuff getting together again now that we are released from some of that bondage now <laughs> and Kylie saying very nice yes it is very nice a very nice one so hi Dana and I am well um and <laughs> oops there's Kim saying hello ladies and we've got Keza saying hi mum I probably shouldn't do that it's a bit cheeky isn't it Margaret <laughs> but I love it <laughs> as I love you of course um it's wonderful to have friends that extend their family isn't it so happy Friday why not well, it is for me tonight. I don't normally when I'm by myself, but I just decided to tonight. There is the um, so blessed to have a gorgeous grandkid, have gorgeous grandkids. Yeah, excuse my itchiness, but the hair is just starting to get to me. Nose, the hair is starting to get to me. It was a hot day today, so the hair is starting to get to me, <laughs> and it's still hot. Well, warmish. I've got both air conditioners on in the house and hoping that it cools down in this office because it's a bit warm here and the thunder has started so I don't know how long I'm going to be able to keep going when it gets too rough I turn computers off I've had one blown up once before because of power surge it's not so big a deal these days but because my circuit breaker should stop that but uh, it's old habits <laughs> and I don't know where the peanuts is going to crack a nana she doesn't like thunder so Oh, excuse me, Leslie. Hi. Does my dad have a name? Please and thank you. Does my dad have a name? Hmm. Oh, I dare say he does have. Um, Leanne's not here yet, and I don't do the mediumship over the over this medium this way. <laughs> I pike out. I really do when it comes to doing online with mediumship. I'm happy to do the cards because I, I love using those. And we've got Jasmine saying g'day and wanting some messages, so we'll see. Um, hi, Sarah, lovely to have you here. And <laughs> you don't mind being called mum? Good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. And, and Margaret is saying hi, Keza. So uh, it may be a bit of a slow start today. What I decided I'd do is use a different set of cards. And perfect timing there, Dee, because what you've got there is you'd love a card tonight, please. So I'm just going to work down from what's the top to the bottom, okay? Then I don't lose track, and you'd like some guidance too, Jasmine. So if you're going to put it there, please don't put twice because then I forget and people miss out that way. But what I've got is this, I found this, it was over there, over in my pile there. The Housewives Tarot, I thought, well, the last one of the year, uh, yes, it might be the last one of the year, maybe, before Christmas anyway, I'd use this one. It is a tarot, but it doesn't matter. We'll see how we go with it. And I'll just give you a bit longer to have a look at it because it is by a Paul Keppel and a Jude Buffum. Uh, interesting names, but it's a bit of fun, a bit of fun for tonight. So... Um, we'll get to some of those in a minute. And, yes, yeah, so asking for cards. So that's good. We'll start where I find, found the first one that mentions the card. So if you just put card, please, that, that, that would be fine. And I'll just work down them. And the earlier you get in, 
you'll have <laughs> a card reading. Let your friends know that that's the way I'm doing it or that, you know, they've got the chance of being able to pop in with this. Um, now, I would say that Leanne probably hasn't been able to get her computer up and running. I do know that she's here <laughs> it, very close by somewhere, but I didn't actually ask where the house was that uh, Leanne, Margaret and, and Mum, Mum and Dad are staying at. I didn't ask. Uh, who knows? The thunder could have, the stormy stuff could have put out the power in Victor and I wouldn't know. I don't know. But then, yeah, Mum, are you on phone or are you on a Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi there? Um, anyway, I'll go back to where I found, oh, where was that first card? Oopsie. <laughs> oopsie, oopsie. Um, where are we? Uh, if you are near... Leanne, um, Mum, I have got, I have sent her the link to the messenger if she needed to pop in that way. Now let's have a look. Um, good heavens. Now this is the first one that's actually asking a question. Does my dad have a name? Have a name, please and thank you. Um, you don't know your dad's name? I don't do guessing games. Uh, I don't have ESP. I sometimes get the letters and names, but as I said earlier, I won't be doing that one. So um, probably private message if you'd like. Now, Jasmine, what I've got here, I have already sh shuffled the cards once, so oh, except you need to get them up the right way. So what you've got is for seven swords. You've got seven swords. So it's actually take it. Oh, excuse me. And I have no idea uh, because I don't use the, the books and I'm not as familiar with my tarot as I used to be. I don't know whether these have got any different types of meanings to what the usual is. Seven swords is. I will actually read them because it's such a different deck, isn't it? And there you go. So you've got seven swords and it's never heard of, you've heard whispering behind your back and sensed phony smiles and condescending charm at every turn. So there's a vicious gossip in your circle doing everything in her power to pull, put a big black stain on your pretty white reputation. Watch out. She's a real stinker, determined to soil your social status. She's always, she's always been jealous, but now she's trying to steal your recipes, your friends, and maybe even your husband. Though it's normally beneath you, the time has come to roll up your sleeves and fight fire with fire. So these are different messages to what I've normally had with a tarot deck. So I shall read from the guidebook with this one tonight just for that bit of fun. So there's your message, Jasmine. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to pull them out as I go this time too. Oh, goody, goody. So we've got... Uh, oh, yeah. Hell, we've got Leanne with us here. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Um, she's still trying to find her camera, I think. So I'll continue onwards. Are you right there, Leanne? I, ha I can't hear anything yet. Hang on, I've got something happening here. What's that? Oh, look, I've just got to um, send a message to Tony. Uh, he doesn't remember it's Friday night. That's all right. You are there, I presume. Hang on. Let's go like this. I'm putting you up into the stream. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm, hold on. I'm going to put myself around the other way. You know how I do that. Yeah. Okay. Yes. yes. Cool. Now, okay. why aren't you coming through my headset? Oh, I don't know that one. <laughs> Let me go into audio might help. I do pull quickly. Um default. Oh god. It's not picking it up. Not picking it up. Do you need to have it into the headset? No, oh, just so it doesn't disturb dead mum. Yeah. Mum's listening on her phone in the other across there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I like, oh, no, I like how she's got there. I don't mind being called mum. <laughs> <laughs> I am 
<laughs> I was oh lightning. Um, I was trying to get in on my phone, but it won't allow you in on the phone app anymore. Did you try updating it? No. That would when be. Did you last use it? They might, have, they might have had an update since you last yeah, used it. Yeah, I just clicked on the link that you sent me, like I did here, and yeah. it wouldn't let me in. It that's said unable to connect. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. that's good. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> unorganized. <laughs> that's all right. That's I was sitting there going. I don't need to get to do this on my laptop and turn everything on. I can do this from my phone. Yes, yeah, right. That's like right. this morning I took a bit of time because um, I had a lot of things open and I realised, oh, she, that word, um, I'd probably better clear the cache and do a reboot again. So I did that and it takes forever. So here am I, at, you know, 15 minutes too. Hoping it did its thing. It did just in time. Just in time. <laughs> hey, there we go. Now. Now that's interesting because the system doesn't seem to pick up the track. Tracks tracks is telling me that it's paired. The what? My oh, track. yeah, tracks. Hmm. Yeah, shots. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. So long as you can hear me and we can hear you, that's all we need, isn't it? I, I can hear you okay, as long as yeah, you can good. hear me okay. Yeah. yeah, I can hear. I can hear. Um, I'll just go down and check. Uh, here comes the giggles. <laughs> right down the bottom. Here comes Sorry, the yawning my head off. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, yes. <laughs> I laid um, on my lounge when we got back just to straighten my back out because it was aching and I felt asleep. <laughs> Oh, from your day to day, day. yeah. yeah. Yeah, early morning. <laughs> they don't work yeah. too well with me. No, you certainly did have an early start because you said you were going to be down there to open up at 8, wasn't it? <sighs> I was on the road point. by 6 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and Sorry. it was a warm day. It is. Very I didn't realise how warm until, you know, we went outside. Like you said, how warm it was. Mm -hmm. You really don't feel it until you do step out. And it was, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the car was definitely hot. <laughs> At five o'clock, it, it was. I've got both air conditioners going in the house. So. Oh, have you? Yeah, because it's still still hot, and this room doesn't get the ventilation, so it's hot in here. I'd say I did have the fan going, but that does be. <laughs> yeah, well, the fan does that funny shadowing. It's not good uh, on the, not not doing camera work. So anyway, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. So, have you had time to catch up on some of those lovely greetings? No. Uh, Hello, that. everyone. <laughs> yeah. I'll now, this one was a curiosity. Everyone. I've only just started doing some of the answers, like you know, pulling up a card. I've only done one card anyway. <laughs> I decided <laughs> to do something differently and see this one. Oh no, I haven't seen those ones before. No. Well, they sit in oh, in behind me there. On my yep. on my chest of drawers there, and I looked at it in the, you know how you see your background. And I thought, oh, I'll do that since it's the last one before Christmas. Yeah, I'm doing is this. We'll try that. But I'm I have to read the booklet for it because they are different meanings because it's not a normal tarot deck. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be interesting. And we've got this question here too that I, I'm sort of not quite sure how Leslie was actually intending it. So if it was a mediumship or an ESP or something like that, I'm not doing it. So <laughs> do you understand it? No, peanuts. And I have already explained to people if there's thunder or lightning, which there just was, peanuts will bark. Yeah. Yeah, we've certainly got it here in Gawler. Gawler, where are we? Are you at Gawler? Down the road from you. <laughs> which direction towards Middleton? Yeah, past Middleton, keep going. Past Middleton. Oh, Marsh. Oh, you're on High Marsh Island. No, not quite, nearly. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Near Gawa Beach. Yep. Oh, well, it is called Gawa Beach, isn't it, Mum? Yeah, there is. There, yeah, it is part yeah. of Gawa. Yeah. Yeah. So I should have bought the fishing rod. It would have been nice sitting on the um, beach. Yeah, you can fish from that beach. Storm. I think pretty easy. I think they do catch stuff. So yeah. what would you make of this one? My dad, does my dad have a name? I was just wondering, why would someone be asking that one unless they didn't know that their dad's name or something? 
I don't know. Don't I've got Tony it. coming to mind, but that might have been because you mentioned Tony's name before. <laughs> oh, could be too. I, well, I know I had Brian, but that's your dad's name, isn't it? <laughs> my my dad. Yeah, what's your Robert. dad's name? Oh, Robert. Robert. Oh well, I got Brian. As, he could as be a Brian, I guess. He'll answer to anything. So. I don't, if I you didn't put know, um, I wine or food with it, he'll answer to anything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so will I. <laughs> Don't worry, so fine. <laughs> now, and I have actually, I've done the first question. There, there is where I got to, just so you know where I got to, because it only just started. And we, we may or may not last long here because of the thunder lightning. Uh, if yeah. peanuts gets too noisy, I just can't compete with that. So, and I <laughs> particularly, this is hardwired up, so I don't really want to have it at risk yeah. from a blowout. Because I've had that happen too. So, if we do a card, have you got cards tonight yes, or not? I did pack them. <laughs> you did? I did. Cool. Well, I don't know how this is going to work since I've got to read what the explanations are. And this one actually came up. <laughs> you do your, you do yours first, and I've got to find where the heck the little descriptions are. Okay, I've got the screen so small on the laptop. Can I only read the comments? Would love a card, please. Hey, D. Um, yeah. You've got the fire card, honey, and it's very much about taking control, finding the fire deep within your soul, connect with that energy. Oh. And the eight of cups here that are, that are neatly stacked coffee cups symbolise, mm, hang on, fastidious preparation for the inevitable emotional hangover. So regrettably, it's not enough to rejuvenate your broken spirit. When the Eight of Cups appears, it may be your wake-up call to let go of a long-term relationship that's boiled over or a failing endeavour you have invested a great deal of passion in. There you go. Do you know, this? Oh, there's keywords in this. It doesn't sound very positive, does it? <laughs> what, was your, what was the card you pulled? Um, the fire card. Fire. Oh, something being set on fire under you from the look of it with that one <laughs> but anyway we'll take it as they come now jasmine i think i, I did Ross. pull your card earlier which was the first one which i can't remember what it was you'd love to get some guidance on your career of pregnancy so that card that i pulled for you um take it for that to be that answer for this one it's certain it's obviously to do with your work what came up for you in the card that you got which was the seven of swords um do you get anything there for Jasmine? Um, no, with pregnancy, I get it's going children. to be happy and healthy. Yeah, nothing to worry about, honey. And I'm just going to put the volume up. Oh no, I can. No, that's all right. I'm finding it a little harder to hear you. Um, I've got mine right up. <laughs> so here you go. Be warned, um, you're coming closer. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I am. <laughs> And that's okay. Keza, you're wanting a card as well. Hey, honey. So it was today a good day. Today was a tiring day. <laughs> but what were you able to observe as you're sitting there watching people go past? What crosses your mind sometimes when you're in that process of contemplation or, you know, there's always a, a few little moments of quiet time you see some when yeah when you got those quiet times you see some very interesting souls. <laughs> some lovely people. Now, some Keza, very interesting. <laughs> you've got the Queen of Wands here. It's creative energy, ego, passion. <laughs> yeah, this lightning. It's like you get the thunder here and then pe um, peanuts barks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this drama queen radiates creative energy. She's positively glowing. Her dominating personality sweeps people off their feet but often leaves others feeling slighted. She's an attentive housewife but still finds the time and energy to pursue her own interests. So this is an inner spread, so that's what you're getting. You're pursue, able to pursue your own interests and be lively and bright. So what have you got for Keza there? Um the snake card came out for you, honey, and it's very much about shedding your skin, prepared to heal and transform. You are um, always evolving. Cool. Yeah, that sounds like creative energy there. It matches the one that I just pulled. Cool. I'm trying to match. I'm just leaving them rather than shuffling them in between because it's too hard. 
<laughs> I'm leaving them in a pile and the next one's going to be yours, Mandy. Regardless, <laughs> meant to be in that order. So, can I, Roz, can I just throw yeah. a spanner in the works? Beth yeah. is asking, uh, can, uh, hi, Leanne, can you tell me if I should call the police about the hammering in my roof? I'm joined, uh, I'm joined to people that have threatened me. I'm terrified. Honey, how long has it been going on for? And is it when you use the water? Because water pipes can make a hammering sound with pressure. So yeah, take note, fine. is it around the time you're using water or within a few seconds of using water? Okay, yeah. if you're worried, call the police, honey. Safety first. And ha ha <coughs> yeah, I might not be doing a long one tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Hammering, uh, like it can also be, uh, depends where you live, of course, but I was informed that we do have possums in our area here. I didn't realise. Oh, yeah, this house, I, I got a message with the information for getting in yesterday to say they do have a possum on the roof here, and I'm like, oh, great, thanks. Yeah, we do. So if you're in this area around about, it could even be just that it, it's possums over the roof a lot. Because they can make a heck of a racket, they do. Peanuts, there's more thunder coming. Yeah. <laughs> we just had it here, so. <laughs> you it? It's quiet at the, t at the moment. Quiet at the moment. Not sure. Anyway, we'll see. I'll try and talk over it. So what I've got with the four of wands for you, Mandy, is reward, tranquility and relaxation. So take a load off and enjoy well-deserved Shirley Temple. Oh, that sounds nice. <laughs> Fairly gentle. I've never tried one. Uh, but. Rest and relaxation. So you've swept away the emotional rubbish and laid a foundation for success. And what have you got there, Leanne? Oh, that was a lot of lightning. The spiritual oh, the closed. Ah, yes. Yep. So high, um, your high vibrations rise from within. Your spirit path is calling you. So stand in that energy, honey. Mm. Yep. And Kylie, a card for you. This one's the one I've got to see. Oh. I don't think I shuffled these all that well. I think I might have put them in order and it looks like a lot of wands in one heap. <laughs> but that's all right. So for Kylie, it's exuberance, mischief and loyalty. So like the other members of this suit, Knight of Wands enjoys being the focus of everyone's attention. Perpetual party guy. So I did swell for fun, tomfoolery and a hit with ladies and gents alike. So cruising around the neighbourhood and having fun. What have you got for Kylie? The rooster, honey, so be careful of the egos at play. Take charge at the moment. Yeah, mischief maker. <laughs> that, that is what it sounds like, isn't it? Uh -huh. Hello, Linda. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's where you said just having trouble getting in and I didn't take any notice, did I? <laughs> I didn't see it, do I? I thought at least if I put it in the comments, you'll see it. If I send it to your phone, you won't. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, my friend, oh, hang on. The, the comment's actually hot. Oh, the high, you know, <coughs> you know how it's got the um, show and hide button? <coughs> it's covering half of that comment. Yeah. I've got a cough. <coughs> I have a big slug of my wine. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I should get rid of it. So what have you what have you got for her there for that one? Okay, so honey, I was more drawn to Rosa's throat chakra when she was sort of needing to clear it then. So are you not mm -hmm. being able to speak up in that situation or are you not being heard in the way you need to be? Um, the judgment card is the one that has come out and it's very much about you don't know the pathway others have walked. Watch the motives, no judgment required. But this can also go back within. Okay. Mm. And <laughs> motherhood, poison, nurturing. So as far as with the Empress goes and that you've asked about your friend getting back together as uh, being friends again, uh, the feminine forces to be reckoned with, the, femi the Empress in the earthly mother to housewives everywhere and she spreads her wisdom of domesticity across the land. So it symbolises your hidden potential of being warm, comforting and perfecting that poise and perfect quaff, which is the hairdo, and <laughs> just a touch of authority to complement your nurturing charm. I would say that it would be a, a positive in that respect, that, um, you know, it, it is a, attracting back towards you, that that is the friendship. And Dana... 
Morning, Dana. Oh, the sun. Well, Dana, I've been meaning to catch up with you to see if you want to continue your membership, honey. Oh. I should have got emails from me a little while ago about that. Sorry, okay, please. Big so I've got the sun for you. Oh, I like that. Look at that. <laughs> the eyes. Fried eggs. Nice, <laughs> bright and sunny. Sunny side up. Did you get, oh, sun flare. Sun flower. <laughs> <laughs> I just realised what I had my hand when you say yeah, so it's happiness, clarity, and optimism. So look at the sunny side of life and really have that shine. I'm not going to read them all. I'll just read the keywords now. Yeah. I've so it. I've got the sunflower for you, Dana. Enrich your life with joy, happiness, and longevity. So further down, I can see you're asking: Is it time to move to Brisbane? What brings you joy, honey? What brings you longevity? Mm. Look at that side of it. Yeah. And Leslie, your card is. Hmm. Ooh, excuse me. You've got the seven of wands. Have a look at that. The toilet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> weird, weird. Oh, toothbrush. I would say that's almost to do with challenges, fighting back in crisis. I'd say it's actually having to. Um, you know, with the finer, the more detailed brushing, cleanliness, hygiene, whatever it is to do with that. But it's actually finds you on the defensive, challenges you to face what may be overwhelming. So there you go. That's a strange, I've not, I can't remember seeing a toilet <laughs> as part of a tarot deck. No, <laughs> me either. It's a weird no. one. While you're on the toilet, you're also you get got the unicorn happening, which is transformation, honey. So uh, enjoy the changes and feel the magic that is happening. <laughs> I'm thinking of all those American toilets. <laughs> well, I'm looking at this and I'm reading the explanation. It sort of doesn't really match in some regards, but it's saying, um, I will read this out, like you're on the defensive. The challenge you face may be overwhelming, like, trying to scrub an entire toilet with only a toothbrush but you must stand your ground and fight back against your enemies even if they play dirty so the challenges come at you from all angles i dare say that's why i mean it is seven wands isn't it so it's seven toothbrushes but you do possess the power to flush out those who seek to usurp your porcelain throne <laughs> a weird one <laughs> anyway a weird one yes <laughs> Does match the unicorn though. It's creating your own magic in getting past that challenge. <laughs> um, Kim. Can I just like, answer Di's question? You don't need to bring this one up. She just yeah. says, Hey Leanne, any chance you're coming back to Port Lincoln way in the new year? Yes, May. we are. April, I think it is. April or May. April. Which one's um, May? May is supposed to be Broken Hill, but all depends oh, on my right. surgery. But yeah, at this stage, yep, yep. April, honey. Yep, yep, that's right. I, I did write that down in a summary in an email I sent out the other day, so that's cool. Now, yep. Kim's Knight of Pentacles. Oh, this is a bit awkward. Oh, I've got it. Yeah, my thumb's aching a bit from doing the, um, oh, why does that say swords, pentacles to, oh, hang on, I'm at the wrong end of that. Mm. I did my volunteering yesterday and the thumb is actually uh, a bit sore today. Yep. Because it used muscles I haven't used for a fairly long time. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles is, am excuse me, now I've got hiccups, ambition, entrepreneurship and reward. So it's one busy guy. Whether it's mowing old Mrs Cratchit's lawn or delivering, oh God, the wording in this, delivering the Elmswood Gazette, he's got a lot of jobs on his plate, real go-getter, keeps his nose to the grindstone and pinches every penny until he can afford the finest things that are on offer. So I would say that it's using your money wisely and being able to actually um, gather that abundance. Hard work, yes, but it's going to be there. Yeah. And you got the butterflies, so this one's very much about looking for the signs, oh, the confirmation, and know your loved ones on the other side are very much around you at the moment. Yeah. And we've got Louisa. Now, Louisa's uh, Canadian, isn't she? 
Uh, uh, Louise is in Mount Barker. In Mount Barker. There's someone with a very similar e name. Yeah. I can't remember it now. But I think yeah. it's um, Hi, yeah. Louisa. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, <Michael>, Louisa. <laughs> <laughs> I've pulled the Page of Pentacles. Well, your next next in line is the Page of Pentacles for you. So as you can see, the Pentacles are that coin, that abundance type. So it's possessions, determination, and fastidiousness. Now, when you look at tarot, as far as the Pentacles, it's the younger of the male energies. So it's really getting <laughs> getting into help. I like the description in this. Page of Pentacles is better known as Mummy's Little Helper and Daddy's Little Entrepreneur. So he's a great respect for money and expensive objects. Always out to make an extra buck. He'll gladly do chores to supplement his weekly allowance. A born collector as well as he cherishes possessions and takes great care of them. <sighs> Look after what, you, what you've got coming in. Um, definitely going to be fun because I think with the younger, that energy that's in the younger, it's going to be a fun way of gathering in money, you know, abundance. And I love the way you said that, Ros, because I've put the dolphin card and it's a reminder to let that inner child come out and play yes. and have fun while you're doing it. Hey, Ros, yep. Yep. Oh, oh, that was a big white sky. Um, you, know how you? The, you know how you get the young people on their computers, on their phones, check out this. <laughs> okay. I've lost me center. There it is. <laughs> That's cute. No, it wasn't. I just having a giggle. <laughs> we always do. <laughs> Mum's asking what I'm doing. Let me giggle. It's hard. It's hard to giggle. It's. It is hard to giggle quietly. <laughs> There's a delay. Hang on. Uh, did you ever see that cartoon? <laughs> She's just seen it. <laughs> what did you just call me? So it's I'm a little shit. <laughs> it's that delay factor, isn't it? Just got it. Yep. <laughs> she was trying to work out what we were giggling about. <laughs> Do you did you in your in your younger years ever watch the Penelope Pit Stop show, a cartoon or something similar it that had Mutley the Bell, dog? Yes. Mutley the dog. I'll have his little snicker. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, dear. So we have got Elisa here now for her card reading. I don't think I shuffled these well at all because we've got another Pentacles, but it doesn't matter. It's the order they're in. And this one, Elisa, is for you and it's wealth, achievement, and family. So bringing the chin up, <coughs> done with the image oh. of the perfect home. Ten of Pentacles is reminiscent of a precious family heirloom. So whether passed down through generations or accumulated through hard work and shrewd business sense, you must remember to share that which you've been blessed with. So it is about abundance. What you're working for, you're going to be very justly rewarded. And I've got the wings oh. card for you, honey. It's very much about spreading your wings, taking flight, and it's reminding you there are no limitations. <laughs> I've got tears of love. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Mark. Oh, man, this is taking me a bit of time to go through, isn't it? She's coming at cool <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> yep, I know that now. <laughs> That's it. Um, now, Mandy, did I do one for you already? Yeah, I did. Further up. So, Sarah, here's one for you. Whoops, what's that one? Ooh. Oh. I just lost one. half a bit. Did yours drop down, did they? <laughs> yep. I've got the King of Wands for you, Sarah. Have a look at the gross picture on it. Like, that looks a bit weird. It's all the little gadgets on one little pole that this king is handling. So it's charisma, inventiveness, encouragement. So nice and positive for you, Sarah. It's um, he's the embodiment of inspired creativity. So there's going to be many ways that you are going to be able to brandish a multi-purpose five-headed wand he constructed himself full of bold ideas and his magnetic personality inspires others to partake of his journey to the top it's very encouraging isn't it so all those ideas you're going to be able to put together and move it forward to oh produ well pr producing whatever it is that you're wanting to actually with the ideas because i know you've got some ideas for your business 
Well, that's it. And I've pulled the foot card, um, the footsteps card, honey, and it's very much reminding you about actions have consequences. Be conscious of the imprint you're leaving behind. So the actions you're taking on that journey, look mm -hmm. at the bigger picture. How do you want to be remembered? Sort of thing in that sense. What is it you want to be known for? Mm. Yep. Oh, here's what Leslie was saying about that. No, her dad's name. Yeah, sorry, referring to question asked Leanne the other night. Don't know my dad. Yep. Uh -huh. Okay. So that answered that one. I was there, but I don't listen. <laughs> I monitor. Um, that's a sad admission, isn't it? I don't listen. <laughs> I do, but I don't. You know what it's like. Yeah. When, you do, when you're doing moderation, you're taking more attention and I was doing other pages as well. So, yeah, it's not just the one that you're Oh, whoops, hang on. Wasn't meant to do that one. And we've got Corey here who'd like to have a card and first time being here. So the one that I've got for you out of the Housewives Tarot, well, it looks like a bit more work as well. It's the Three of Wands. And that's actually satisfaction, progress and consideration. So the proud housewife stands back to evaluate her progress. So obviously it's progressing. Mop and feather duster in hands, broom on her side and she carefully inspects the area. So it signals that that is the first signs of success. So keep progressing it and you'll get to that final, um, you know, the final stage of saying yeah look at what i did <laughs> <laughs> and i pulled the heart card for you honey and it's very much about offering love feel love and be motivated by that love so everything you're doing do it from the heart stay in that heart energy uh -huh. and i've done joe's i remember that one and there's keza saying hi beautiful lee and yay hey, hi Roz from nick <laughs> Hi, Nick. Hey, Nick. All the way in the UK. Uh, hopefully your house moving, yeah, you've finished moving house, I think, from what I remember. And Louise has said hi there to you, Leanne, because obviously hey, about when you came in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so from da Dana as well, the hi. And hey, we've, we've got a, Nicole is actually asking for a card now. Hey, um. So. I've got this one from the Housewives Tarot, the Ace of Pentacles, and that's about planning, preparation. And <laughs> are they flying out again? Yeah, it did. This one went flying. Yeah, planning, Jumped preparation out. and determination. So it's the start of the journey. So like hosting a dinner party, the key to financial success is preparation. Remember the Pentacles is the equivalent of coin, money, wealth, abundance, that type of thing. So it's coming in. You just need to plan for it and before you can begin any endeavor you need a sensible plan fierce determination and a heavy duty pair of latex cops <laughs> basically get into it and work at it and the money will start to come in cool and the card i've got that jumped out the deck is the palette honey it's very much about sitting in that creative energy express yourself learn something new okay. yeah cool yeah. I like learning new stuff. <laughs> Definitely. In the middle, I'll be doing a bit more of that tomorrow. So that was for Nicole. <laughs> and Kim saying, here comes the giggles. Hi, ladies from Carla. So it's hey, like honey. Yeah. And Lee and Corey Shepherd. So I dare say it's probably Lee that's here. It's only an assumption. <laughs> what I've got for you is the King of Swords. And that looks like a very interesting kebab that will not fit into that barbecue but hey he's the king he can do what he likes with his kebab <laughs> stubborn judgmental blunt king of swords is a sturdy if somewhat abrupt figure who takes charge and keeps law and order at the barbecue he's impartial and fair at least in his own mind but he accepts special orders from no one so it almost feels like yeah anyway if he's grilling the burgers well done and you request meet him rare tough darts Yes, the thunder's starting to roll. So when he feels finished cooking and ready to eat, grill shut off for the night, so no begging for another weenie. I think this is American. <laughs> I think so. But anyway, um, though you may not understand harsh judgments and brusque manners, this is his domain, so deal with it. So it's almost like the overpowering energy of 
uh, a male who likes to have the control, just watch out for that. That's what I'm sitting down the beach, Dad, um, watching it over the water. Oh, it's always nice watching it down the beach. Yeah, that's it. Um, the emotions card, honey, came up for you. So acknowledge your feelings while being present in the moment. So um, that on top of what Ross said. Yeah. Yeah, stand your ground when you get the heavier hand of mail around. That's <clears throat> what I'd say. <laughs> Angela, good evening. Good evening. And Louise is just saying it's trying to rain there in Mount Barker at the moment. Oh, oh is it? Have you got raining. lightning and thunder? Something just bit me. Yeah, well, I had something bite me on my foot, so, yes. Um, Whatever it was, oh, I squashed it into my foot. <laughs> oh, you're saving it for Ron. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah it's not i don't think it's raining here yet but you're we did it earlier we had a quick little rain and then like very oh, very quick but then the lightning and thunder started probably an hour or more ago two hours ago hour and a half um yeah the sun was it, still it, up. it could have been about that yes yeah it was it's only just started getting dark here, really. Now, Nicole's saying, Leanne, you're scratching your nose. My nan here again. You didn't say much nose, huh? <laughs> what well, um, bit me has made my foot bleed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Nicole, highly likely, if that's what you're feeling, it is. Yeah, nan's with you. Yeah. Oh, I say trust that. So. Now it is raining. I can hear the raindrops. It is. So oh, will my Christmas wish come true, ladies? I get yes. Yes. Yes, I'm getting it. Yes, as well. Now, um, Takesha, oh, that's a nice name, Takesha. I'm wondering if my dad will find love again. Yeah, but it'll never be the same as the reference I get. Yeah, it's just going to be a little bit more time yet is what I'm getting. Uh, I'm getting a year. Um, that's probably why I'm getting that sort of iffy thing is because, like you said, Leanne, it, it won't be the same, but you don't expect it to be the same. Yeah. Um, it'll be a meaningful relationship, yeah. Oh, um, so her I... mum lives on Beach Road in Gore. Which one's that? Oh, that's the one that goes down to the Surf Life Saving Club, isn't it? I think. From um, Woolworths, from the roundabout straight down. I... That's Beach Road. Can I yep. just say, guys, there's somebody there asking people to send them a friend's request. Please don't. They are scammers. Oh, one of those. See, if I go in and have a look at that myself now, would that be in the My Time or your page? Um, no, it's Facebook. So I, I wouldn't be able to see it. Coming from. No, yeah. actually, yeah. I might be able to do it. If it's on your page, you should be able to. If it's on My Time, I haven't <laughs> been able to see them lately. I've got my page sitting there. I was just had it sitting there to check whether I was actually getting live stream working. Um, yeah, it's a shame that they do that. It well, it doesn't ruin it. We just take no notice. Just it don't respond to them. That's all you do. Just do yeah. not click on them or, or mention them at all. Remember, a, a proper reader, a um, reader with morals will not um, reach out to you and ask to do a reading for you. The no, scammers will. That is right. Now, where did I get up to? Was it's this on my thing? time? Um, was in my time, was it? Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to. So, Jeannie, good evening, ladies. My partner's misplaced a few shopping vouchers. Any clues to where they are? Please and thank you. I'm, I'm sensing that they've actually squashed in somewhere. Who was that one for? Did I read that one? No, I haven't yet. Um, Has she searched her bag thoroughly enough? Feels like they're squashed into somewhere, whether they're down behind a couch, you know, a cushion. What do you feel about it? Anything? I'm actually drawn to a drawer with that. So I don't know if it's been put together with other things into a drawer. Mm. Um, I'm drawn to a drawer. I do think she'll find them. Yeah, I do too. So not a problem. Now, uh, Deborah, she's after a message. Now, I've got the six of wands for you here already, Deborah. Well, it's starting to get heavy. And this looks like a mishmash of tools and cleaning and all sorts. It's It certainly is a sink and the floor and the whole lot. 
So it's victory, triumph and praise. So I would say that this finds you as the housewife triumphant against the trials that assaulted you in the previous card. Well, that would be five. That's in a spread. Um, your beautiful home is the toast of the town. From a spotless kitchen to your pristine pantry, everything is spick and span. So you finally get there and neighbours sing your praises. So you're being rewarded for the work you're putting in and it's being wow. recognised is what I'm sensing from that. We've got lightning after the lightning here. We yeah, have, yeah. Yeah, and um, butterfly, look for the signs, confirmation, and know your loved ones around are uh, on the other side are uh, around you. Yep. If I can get my way there, will help. That is getting pretty. I've, I've got the curtains closed. <laughs> I'm just saying, good evening. Yeah, I mean, it's a start here, like, too. Uh, Steve is saying, oh, my daughter's trying to ring me. I'll just oh, tell her. Wow. Me. Hey, honey, can I ring you just in a few minutes? I'm just on the live. That is a loud crack. I think I'm going oh. to have to uh, act as much. Ehan, as I'm just on the live. Can I ring you back in a few minutes? Ta, bye. <laughs> the tracks is working on my phone. So what's the tracks? <laughs> That's some um, app. The headpiece. The tracks. Oh, are right. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. Yeah. I see, I've got these. Small. I've got these ones that work. Very oh, nice, actually, yeah, the same yeah. thing, but mine's just a different colour. Yeah, or probably you said tracks. This these are called air shocks. Oh yeah, these are tracks air shocks. Oh well, it's that. <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> work really weird. well. But with the Mac, I've got the air pods. Yeah. Uh, are connect that these are what are first with the Mac. These are what are first with the iPad. So I don't bother mucking around with them on the for the Mac with the air shocks. Yeah. It's too much of a pain in the ass. Um, Nick, <laughs> <laughs> um, where'd you get up to? Oh, Steve, yes, Thanks he's saying hi. The scammer, uh, do what? Uh, people are just letting us know they've reported the scammer. Oh, so, yeah. thank you, Terry. Yeah, uh, thank Leo you. Leo said the same thing. Yeah, um, I go through afterwards and do the final ban and stuff on those. Yeah, that I, find I have banned I've him got, now. I've got the back end of it as well, so I just don't do it while I'm live because it's a bit difficult. So, <laughs> and Deb's, Deb's asked for a card too. Uh, I'll do Steve's next because that's when he asks the question. I'm not sure what these are, but it's pentacles. It almost looks like a dresser which has some beautiful plates on it. So it's selfishness, hoarding and fear of risk. So... Be careful because this one's known, it's saying here in the description, also known as the miser card, four of pentacles can be summed up as nothing ventured, nothing gained. Sure, that costly china may be a precious family heirloom, but what good is it locked away while you serve your family and friend meals on the cheap paper plates? So it's just use it. Um, you'll never really appreciate all that you accumulate unless you actually do get it out and share and share it with love. That's what that's actually suggesting so be careful how you are using what you have and i've got the infinity card and it's reminding you the never-ending circle of life we learn and we move forward on our journey oh that was very close where oh, i hit the ground yeah, just hearing more there's more coming your way because i think i'm getting it before you do if you're a uh, caller, yeah that west, one's westerly yeah yeah, I Whatever might it was have, straight down over the back fence, I could see it hit the ground. Yeah, might have to finish a little bit earlier, though. Yeah. Yeah, we're going close to the hour anyway. Yeah, so I'm Steve, a bit close. Steve, what you've got, three of pentacles. Oh, these are descending sizes and a very handy lady there. So praise, recognition, completion. So as the neighbours gaze in awe, an industrious housewife puts the finishing touches on a new shelf. That is her display of Melmac dinner plates. That must have been an important brand or something once upon a time. Never heard of them. Three of the pentacles finds you completing the initial stages of a project. You've hammered out all the details and screwed the competition. That doesn't sound nice. Now it's, now, now it's time to discuss the next phase and enjoying it. So that's what you've got. And I've got to the bow and arrow, and it's just reminding you you're on the right path. Um so stay on target. Yeah, yeah, that follow that does follow through quite nicely with that it one. Does. So cool. And Jody, hi Jody, how are you? Heart, heart feeling for you. She's had a loss. Um, 
Now, oh, we've answered Angela because she wanted to know if her, her Christmas dreams were coming true. Wish. Yeah, we did answer her, didn't we? Yes. Pretty sure we did. I'm pretty sure. And good evening from Sue. And that's Thank just you. saying to both of us. And thanks from Dee. Have a good night. Um, now that we've answered from Beth, Ooh. no feeling heartache. Yep. Yeah, I understand that. Okay. Love and hugs. Um, did we do one for Alyssa? Because I did say at the start, don't double up because I'll get it all mixed up and people and people will miss, miss out. out. Before I came on. Yeah, I think I, I'm just looking. Yes, I did. Pretty sure I had. So, and Tegan, I'm not even sure if I have this. I'm getting a bit concerned about the... <laughs> activity out there of electrical storming yeah it's um, very close i'll do this one as a last one i'll just have to say oh. to others we'll pull one each that is going to be a completion of the evening yeah. i think my backyard keeps lining up where we yeah are. now you were lucky here tegan to have one for you i've just got to find where the ace of swords is in this little booklet and then we'll do one each to as a general for the completion so Ace of Swords for you, Tegan, is challenges, trials, upcoming ordeal. So get right to the point. The Ace of Swords warns of an upcoming ordeal that will test your mettle. Slice of gumption with a dollop of common sense will get you through whatever trials come your way. Your mind is sharp and ready for a challenge because the Swords is about the intellect and the mental capacity, you know, to be able to actually nut through things. Don't be afraid to take on those who are trying to cut you down. So what's yours there? I've got the infinity card and it's very much reminding the energy that you've put out, the hard work you've done is coming back to pay off. Uh, learn from the past and move forward on the journey that you're on. Okay. Yeah, that's good. So um, for each of every for people that are there still, um, anticipating that we're going to go on for a long time, <laughs> we're not. No. I'm going to actually say, oh, my goodness, yeah, now I've seen where the, yep, that that long list would definitely be shorter without those comments that are being put yeah. there, isn't it? Um, but that's all right. <clears throat> um, oh, hi, Terry. I just noticed Terry there. Howdy, howdy, Meningi people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, to people I know from Meningi and etc. So, look, I will leave it there. Um, we're just going to draw one more card. This is the one that I've got is the Queen of Cups. Just as a journal for everyone. So tune into your intuition, your own senses of what this is meaning for you, each and every one of you. So tap into what it does mean for you. The Queen of Cups is intoxicated. <laughs> oh, that's a good one as I've got my wine going tonight. I'm going to finish the bottle. Um, I only started with half. I'll, I'll let people know I'm not drinking a whole bottle to myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it is Friday night. <laughs> Exactly. Wine. Um, Queen of Cups is intoxication, emotions and introspection. So highly emotional and introspective, the Queen of Cups usually represents a woman in your life or a feminine aspect of your own personality. So for her, the glass is always half full, if not filled to the brim. So her intoxicating qualities leave others feeling a bit tipsy and her propensity for sentimental musings often leads to neglect of household responsibilities. Gee, I can identify with that. I've been at the time myself. So I can hear it there, <laughs> the stormy stuff, yes. And the card I've pulled, honey, is the Rise card, and it's just reminding us to get in touch with ourselves and enjoy the moment sort of thing. So, you know, ground, become one, that sort of thing. And it is that relaxing into and being able to give yourself permission to enjoy that inner search, that introspection, that having a good time in that aspect of really nutting out what life means for you, I suppose, in some of that respect. Oh, oh sorry, I've just made me realise I, I had my healy still down in my bra. <laughs> what that was um hey thanks for popping in i know you've had a busy day and you probably would like okay. to have an early night so we're gonna do oh, this i just feel like ice cream are there petrol stations open around this hour night around I've here no idea there i've got no idea there they see what time is it? it's only 9 30 look they might be closed up i don't even know when the woolies shuts there no. um 
because that'll be just down the road from you if you're on Gore Beach. Um, mm. You know, like that side. Yeah. Actually, I don't know. I, I I haven't gone that way much. Well, I don't go out much at night anyway. <laughs> so <laughs> I, really go, I like to stay in and enjoy the rain wine tonight. So there we go. That's it. Nice. Hang on. I'll show oh, you. Oh, the rain's getting really heavy. I'll show cool. you again. Here, here. Oh, hang on. Now I've got to put it in the right aspect in my hand that's actually a bit sore. So I'll swap it around. There we go. And here's my glass. So cheers to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> cheers. Mm. All right, Russ, I'm oh, going to have to run because nice. I left my AirPod cover yes. outside and it's starting to rain. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's have right. a lovely day Thanks tomorrow and the rest of your weekend. Thank and you. And for each and every one of you, thank you so much for joining us. Sorry it's not been as long as we normally go, but situations, yeah, hear it. <laughs> <laughs> That's above us now. <laughs> yes. All right, yes. I'm going to run. Thank you, everyone. See you later. Namaste until the next time. Namaste. Namaste. Bye for now. Bye. Thanks, Anne. <laughs>